in talking about like where Razor Pages and MVC fit in. Like if you go to the .NET website, so we have, here's our kind of ASP.NET section. So ASP.NET is just building web apps with, uh, with .NET. And Blazor is pretty hot right now, partly because everyone's like super focused on front end dev, and and Blazor is a way that you can do front end dev with with uh, .NET, which is pretty cool. Um, there's also like if you look across the different types of web apps, this is some of the different stuff, and here you're seeing Razor pop up, right? So this is how you could, there's Blazor for interactive, there's MVC and Razor Pages, um, and then this is that you know that Razor syntax. Um, and then, so this is, this is something, you know, where there's a whole syntax to it, but I think the best way to get into it is just kind of learn by doing. Um, so we have some different, you know, like learning materials on the site. This is, you know, all, all sorts of different, some people learn with video or with tutorials or things. So we've got that all listed here. Um, one thing that I got to contribute to recently is this let's learn.net. So, uh, let's learn.net. We did an event at the end of August, and this was a two hour course that I taught. And what I went through was this, um, this module here, create web UI with ASP.NET Core. So this course is mostly about Razor and about how to, you know, build things and how to do things like handle a simple form submission. Um, so, you know, there's there's a little bit of backend code. Um, there's a, a lot of the kind of interesting stuff here is in the front end. And this is the creating a, a page with a form. And, I, you know, I'll go through this code in a second. Um, but what I like about this is like, here's that backend, here's the front end. And if you look at this, this is all, almost all HTML. So like a web dev can look at this and go like, that's a div, that's an input, you know, right? Um, Do you want to zoom in just a scotch, like a couple of real quick control pluses there? Perfect. So here we've got things like a div, and that div is just, this is straight HTML. So when Razor sees that, it's just going to render that out. Um, this next line is kind of interesting. It's a label, but then it's got this ASP-4. And so what that does is it lights up the C-sharp brain of Razor, and it processes that. So it, it goes and it says, okay, well, you've told me that my model is a pizza model. And so then it goes and it binds this in. It says, okay, um, you know, I'm going to attach this. I'm going to hook this together with this pizza model name. Um, and so it just kind of all the way through, you'll see we've got things like, here's a TD, so standard HTML. But now I want to write out, I'm writing a list of pizzas. So I say, get me the pizza's name. And so this at sign is magical inside of Razor. That's the turn on your, you know, switch into HTML or into C sharp mode real quick. So what you know, this is nice for, for a lot of reasons. I can, you know, write, I can write and control my HTML. I can see exactly what's going to be written out. I don't have to kind of run a build or flip back and forth or whatever to understand that. Um, I can also work with a designer you know, front end dev, and they can look at it and they can quickly like write some JavaScript or, you know, write some CSS that's going to interact with this. Um, so that's kind of the, the overall for that. And I think I've got this open here. I've got, I probably have it open because I have everything open on my computer. So this is no exception. Every yeah. window, every browser tab. Just just open everything up because that's then I feel like I'm getting the most value for my money with them. <laughs> okay, so so here's that same page, right? So we've got probably need to zoom a bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. So one nice thing, like depending on your your editor, your IDE, um, anything that's purple here lights up. And that says that this is a that the Razor engine sees something special here. So mm. yeah, so like for instance, we've got form validation. So I've got ASP validation summary, and it's just going to handle that for me. It's going to turn on this automatic form validation. So that's really nice. I don't have to go through and do some special kind of validation logic. Um, I can just run it, and it'll it'll generate that for me. 
And, um, and I want to highlight real quick on that validation that that validation is also going to be taking place on the client side. That yes. when, when we're talking about, hey, this is going to be rendering things on, on the server, it's absolutely going to be rendering HTML, CSS, but it's also going to be rendering JavaScript as well. So there's things that you really do want taking place on the client side, like validation, um, that you know one of the simplest things that you can do for performance is do client side validation. So that way, if, if something doesn't look right, it's not going to call the server. Infinite scale um, yeah. immediately um, right there because of that. Um, you know, you want that there on the client. This will still give that to you. What, and, and it's great that you brought that up. And what's really cool about this is the, it's the best of both. You get client and server side validation. So, so what that means is, like you said, you get the scale and you get you make your users happy by validating the form as they're typing the information in. And then let's say they are a hacker and they go through and submit something, you know, like around that, or say JavaScript is turned off on their computer or whatever else, right? Say I've got some weird bug happen and the JavaScript didn't load or something. We also get that validation on the server as well. So that that's pretty cool. Let me let me run this real quick, and I can just show what it looks like. Um, so this is a simple list of pizzas, and we can just go through and add pizzas to a list. Um, and as it's been just making me up, hungry, I've been hungry like all day, and so I appreciate that you're just gonna go with a pizza example just to make me more hungry. Yep. Yes, I know it's it's late afternoon. Slice of pizza sounds really good right now. Um, all right, so this is spinning up, and this is a single, this is all within one page um, where it's going to have a list of pizzas. Oh, this is actually the console. So that is the, the kind of back end host as it's spinning up. Don't worry, my screen is not. Okay, so here I've got a pizza list. Let's see if that spin. And so I can create a meat lovers pizza. Why not? I can create it with a Price of a million dollars or whatever that is. Okay, so now I got some validation. So it says the price must be between one cent and a ten thousand dollar pizza. That's that's quite a pizza. But so let's bring it down to a hundred dollars. Right? <laughs> Only a hundred dollars. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. This this is premium pizza, Christopher. This is the <laughs> stuff. Okay, and it's late afternoon. I can like charge a premium there too. <laughs> Let, so here I'm going to hit the add button. And it says name and price are required, right? So those are important things. So now I'll flip back over to my code and we'll see how that happened. So the common, there's the front end and back end portions to this. So we've got that validation summary. We've got here where we're binding to a pizza. And now if I look at my back end code for this, so when the form first loads, it gets a list of all the pizzas and it's going to display those down below. For this validation, that's actually binding against this new pizza. So I told it to bind a new pizza. And then when I post, all I say is, if the model state is invalid, then just return the, the page and make them fill it out again. Otherwise, it's a valid pizza. So we add it to the list, and then we display the list again. So, so this is Razor Pages, and this is kind of a simpler layer on top of MVC, where you don't have. Um, so a nice thing I like about Razor Pages is that I can also write these little utility methods in here. So here I've got one that's like gluten-free is actually a Boolean. It's is gluten-free. And I want to do some special formatting, make that look a little nicer. So I can write any method I want into this uh, page model. And then when we look back here, we'll see when it writes out this list, I say model gluten-free text, and I pass that pizza in. So it's a nice kind of um, level of like, it's mostly HTML, but then I can bring in whatever C-sharp code I want there. Um, e even just some simple things like here, I want to do some string interpolation and format the price as a currency. So I can just say, you know, format as currency, and there it goes. So I'm kind of running through this pretty quick because we also want to get to some, uh, some more advanced features. But I wanted to kind of, you know, for people that are totally new to it or whatever, kind of explain what it is. And then the other neat thing is that there's a whole two hour course on it. And there's also a self-guided learning thing, which is out here on, on Learn. And this is Build a Web UI, which is the link you shared in the chat.